So what about you? How does this apply to you? Well, see, I want you right now to imagine an adversity, a challenge that you're going through. And I don't want you to imagine it circumstantially because it might not be able to be explained that way. Maybe it's just a feeling. Maybe everything in your life externally is fine, but you feel terrible. You feel like a failure. You feel like you suck. You feel very unconfident. Well, now, I want you to imagine that guy, you, in a movie with those feelings and see them as these insurmountable obstacles, mountains, walls, whatever, uh, armies. And then imagine that movie, imagine that guy, you, winning. Imagine in, when all of the chips are down, imagine with, with his back, with your back up against the wall, with everything stacked against him, without, with just down to the last ounce of courage. Imagine him, imagine you, winning. And then imagine how inspiring that would be, not only for you, but for those around you. Imagine how inspiring that would be to the woman that you want to fall in love with, or maybe you are in love with. Imagine how inspiring that would be to your friends who are going through similar adversities. Imagine how inspiring that would be to your kids, if you have any, or should you have any. Which one sounds better now? I'm tired of acting like everything's okay? Or seeing that you feel like everything isn't okay? but acting in spite of it. This is an excerpt from Irresistible Confidence Blueprint. If you'd like to get a copy of it, feel free to come over to irresistibleconfidenceblueprint.com.